What's going on tech fans? Welcome back to the channel once again. So check this out. When we saw Nvidia's 20 series cards come out, we saw a bunch of different TI models and we saw super models. But it seems like things are really changing right now with all the competition with AMD going on. So will we actually see super cards on the new 30 series of cards or with all the rumors going around is nvidia going back to the ti series mm, let's talk tech Are you looking for a code for your favorite game? Or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10 and Windows keys are under 15. And right now, you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. All right, so check it out. All around the net, we're starting to see rumors of TI cards. We're seeing, you know, will there be a 3070 TI, 3080 TI? Will there even be a 3060 TI? I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities, but I'm really thinking that we're going to see TI cards before we see any super cards with this next generation of cards. And I think the reason that this is probably going to happen is the fact that AMD actually came across probably a little bit more competitive than really most people were thinking. I mean, I'm sure that Nvidia like me and a lot of the people out there in the business were like thinking, okay, you know, AMD has made this promise of, you know, we're going to be kicking ass for years and they've always just come up a little bit short. And, you know, even, you know, the, the super hardcore AMD fans would still say, oh, you know, I was still, you know, a little bit disappointed with that. Well, with everything going on right now, Nvidia could really release a whole lot of different cards, honestly. AMD just announced two cards. So yesterday they released the 6800, the 6800, 6800 XT, excuse me, right off the bat, completely out of stock, just like the same as Nvidia because everybody wants, you know, video cards. So right now, Nvidia is probably going to look at what these cards do. They'll get their hands on these cards and they're gonna figure out a market strategy to come back and beat these cards, even if it's only by a little bit. Now. At the $500 and above range, Nvidia pretty much has every base covered. I mean, you can get a 3070, you know, it's supposed to be $500. On the market, it's kind of hard to find those, but it's supposed to be $500. You know, and you have all the way up to the 3090, which is like $1,500. So they have that market completely covered. Now, in the past, we've seen Nvidia release GTX cards. I don't think we're going to be seeing that though. I haven't really, you know, heard or seen anything about GTX cards coming out, but I do think that we're going to see Nvidia start competing in the sub $500 range. And it would really make sense for them to obviously come out with a car, which would be a 3060. Obviously, I mean, the numbers are there. It's kind of done. They're not gonna come out with a 1420 when they've just had, you know, 3090, 3080, 3070. Obviously, the next step would be a 3060. Now. What will really be interesting though, is if a 3060 Ti came out, because that would be really interesting because we'd have a card that's going to be obviously the sub $500 range. It'll still have the RTX title in the front of it instead of being a GTX card, and it'll be a Ti card, which means it's going to be like pretty much like the best in its class. And at that point, I'm kind of wondering what AMD would really do to counter that because from the roadmap that I've looked at, it looks like AMD has some plans for making cards that are on the higher end of scales. And I mean, it's obvious they are going to release cards on the lower scale of things. We all know that. I'm just wondering how long it would really take AMD 
to whip that whip of cards coming out and then have something that would be able to beat a really top of the line 3060 card. Now, depending on the pricing, that will be a really big factor. I mean, we're seeing a $500 price range with the RTX 3070. So with a 3060, you'd imagine the price would be at least $100 to $200, you know, hopefully different. Because I know a lot of people out there, you know, they say my videos are like, Elric, dude, $500 for an entry of a car, the car used to be 200 bucks. And yeah, I'll admit, things used to be cheaper a few years ago. When the mining craze came and all the video cards got knocked off the market and all you could really find if you were lucky was, a, you know, a used older card, it changed the dynamic of the market. And then with the whole RTX thing, spending money to do the, the research on it, push those cards up. I'm with you guys. I agree. But here's the whole thing, though. A lot of people still just play 1080. There are 1440 players. And yeah, sure, there's a handful of the 4K guys. But a bulk of people around the entire world still play games at 1080. So it would really make sense for NVIDIA to release a 3060 series card that could be in the lower price range, but still do RTX stuff, but do it at 1080. I mean, who cares? Screw the 1440, screw the 4K. Let's just make a card that kicks ass at 1080. And I honestly, I think it's going to be something of a 3060 or a 3060 Ti. And the reason I think this is, I'm seeing all these, you know, these websites, video cards, and all these other guys posting rumors about TI series cards. Now, usually when some of these companies are posting these things, a lot of times lately, they've been panning out to be pretty close to the truth. Is it always exact science? No, but many times when these guys are coming out with these rumors, they're correct. They were right about previous generation cards. They were right about the AMD cards. So when I see these companies out there making all these videos saying, hey, you know, we've got a leak about a TI card, I say TI cards are coming, and I think we're going to see TI cards before we see super cards. I just, just how I think it's going to be. And obviously, the next step would be an RTX 3060. So I predict, and I just think it's what's going to happen, is we're probably going to see an RTX 3060 TI. That's what I think. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking, you know, that is a logical move. If it's not a TI card, I mean, I definitely think we're going to see an RTX 3060. There's no doubt because NVIDIA has 500 and all the way up, like I said, covered. They've got that ground covered. There's really nowhere for them to go. They're not going to create a two or $3,000 gaming card. I mean, they could, but, you know, only the uber rich were going to be buying that stuff. So the target market now is lower income people, you know, people who can't afford to spend $500 who just have a 1080 system and they want to be able to play RTX games and be able to afford that shiznick. And that's just how it is. So let me know what you guys think. Have you guys seen all these rumors all around the place? Do you guys agree with me? I think we're going to see TI cards before we see super cards. Eh, could be wrong, but so far I'm not really seeing rumors online saying RTX super. Are you? I mean, do the math. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, like they say, you know, every like little story has a little bit of truth, you know, to it. It came from the truth. You know, even Atlantis at one time was a city of some sort because, you know, Plato talked about it, you know, back a long time ago. So it obviously existed where it went to. Hey, who knows? But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewage. Um, it's a strange year. Tech right now is really cool. I'm going to make another video and talk to you guys about buying and why right now buying is actually pretty good for a lot of things other than video cards, but that's another day. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. If you like what you've seen, hey, hit that sub button. Make sure you turn on the notifications bell. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, we're all over the place. We're on social media. I have a Patreon site for a single dollar. You can support the site. And if you have no money, I have a link down below where you can check out Amazon Prime for free for 30 days. And it gives me and you both credit. So rock on. Peace out. See you guys back here for more videos.